Hello, hola, welcome back to Color and Canvas. Uh, today I am using up all of my paints because we are moving in Mexico and I can't take all of these open cups of paint with me because, you know, when you're in your studio, you can leave a whole box of them with plastic wrap, but you're not going to put them in a moving truck. So let's use these up today and let's do something a little bit different. These are all Amsterdam, the Amsterdam primary yellow, primary cyan and primary magenta. They're mixed uh, one part paint, one part Floetrol and then water to thin. This is a little bit of 24 karat gold and a little bit of Liquitex Basics gold that I've also mixed the same way. I'm going to put some white base coat down. We're going to do a bit of a different take on a dip. I wanted to use plastic wrap because I saw somebody do it and I thought it was really nice, the effect that they got, but I don't actually have any right now. So I am going to use parchment paper, which gives a completely different effect. It's not going to stick as much. It's not going to leave little lines like when you crumple up the plastic. It's going to be very, very different. So let's try it and see how it looks. And we'll use up these beautiful primary colors in the meantime. All right, that looks good. I'll wipe off my gloves. They're all drippy from the base coat. Get the corners covered nicely. All right, and here we go. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do with it, so I'm just going to just do that. <laughs> I'm just going to pour the colors on. And the yellow is the one we have the least of. And that's it. I'm going to add some of our gold. And some more. We're going to have a lot of negative space here. And that's cool. Cool with negative space. Get the last remnants of our yellow on here. And that's it. That's all we're going to do. I've messed up our parchment paper. Do you see that? I got paint on it. <laughs> I'm just going to wipe it off because that's the side that I actually want to use. Oh my goodness. Do you want to see something pretty? Look at the paper towel. Mm, so pretty. Okay. Get the parchment paper down. I can see like a little air bubble there. This beautiful thing about parchment paper is it is so see-through. If you have an air bubble, there it is. No worries spotting it, that's for sure. We're pretty good. I'm gonna lift it up towards me and we'll just see what happens. There's a very, very different tension with paint and paper that releases, you know. Everybody loves parchment paper because it's non-stick, so it's not gonna hold onto this paint like a wet paper towel would. Mm -hmm. 
I'm just actually going to go over that area. Here we go. One, two, three. And a couple of spots didn't quite work. Right there, right there, right there. But, wow. Overall, wow. And actually, I don't even mind those. Because that is just a, another another element, if you will, in the creation. It didn't quite... Here's Dave. I like it. It didn't quite work out the way we thought, but... There's a couple of spots, Dave, that didn't uh, didn't do its thing, but it just makes it so much more abstract, doesn't it? Looks like a seahorse. It does not look like a seahorse. Don't listen to him; he doesn't know. <laughs> okay, maybe it does look like a seahorse. I like it. I need to see how much paint we're dealing with here. It really has no movement. And so if you're new and having trouble with paintings cracking, one of the best ways to know whether you've left too much paint on is to just tilt it ever so slightly. Don't be pouring paint off the edge or anything, but just move it just a little, little bit. And, you know, I don't know if I'm going to change something about those at a later time or if I'm just going to leave them or do I want to work with them right now and I'm having the the feeling that I need to do something with them. I hope I don't mess it up. Actually, I think that looks better with that little trail out there. I think that looks a lot better. And maybe we'll do just a couple of little trails there as well. All right, now it's done. We'll leave it alone. Let it dry, see what it does. Have to give it some crazy kind of a name. All right, thanks for watching. Parchment paper, who knew? Uh, go paint something beautiful, use up your paints. Don't let them go to waste, get creative, have some fun, and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.